In this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step I use to create this scary pumpkin. Let's go. Okay, let's start with our pumpkin body. So press Shift A, Mesh, and add a UV sphere. In the left bottom menu here, we want to change segments to six, and we'll change our rings to eight. And then we'll press Tab to go into edit mode. With third select selected, we'll go and select the top and the bottom third by holding Shift, and then we'll press O to activate proportional editing. S to scale and then Z to scale it in the Z axis and we'll scale it down. And then we'll press 2 or the icon here to go into Edge Select and with Shift and Alt I'll select all these loops here and then press Ctrl B to bevel and then Alt E and extrude faces among normals just like that. And then we'll go into face select by pressing 3 or this icon here in the left top. And then we'll select the top face, press Shift, D and Z to move it up. And then press P and separate by selection. Press Tab to leave edit mode, select the body and press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Right click and shade auto smooth. Select the object here in the top, press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Tab the gun to edit mode and then go into vert select and then we'll scale it up. Press O to turn off proportional editing. And then we'll go into front view by pressing your tilde key and going into view menu and press front or just press one on your numpad. And then with E, we'll extrude it up. We'll extrude it up twice. And then with control right click, we can continue extruding just like that. And then we'll press to go into face select and then I to insert the top and then select the bottom face and we'll press I again to insert there and then press G and Z and move it down and then I'm gonna scale it down a tiny bit and maybe scale it down a bit on the z-axis there we go and then press right click shade auto smooth okay I think I want to increase the subdivision modifier on the pumpkin body a bit so go to your modifiers tab and change the levels viewport and render to three and now we'll go and create the face so i think it's seven on your num numpad to go into top view or go into view menu and select top and then we'll press shift a and we'll add a plane move it to the side a tiny bit press tab to go into edit mode we'll press one or this icon here in the left top to go into vert select and we'll scale it all the way down and then press s and x and scale it up in the x axis and I press Ctrl R, no, we'll scale it down first here. So select the bottom two thirds, S, X, like that. And then G and Y, move it a bit more up. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut and we'll add with your mouse wheel, you can increase the loop cut. So plus one, two, three, four, five, six, and then confirm. Select the bottom two thirds, press O to activate proportional editing, press G and Y. And then we'll make it a bit of a smiling face like that. Press O to turn off proportional editing, select all the bottom verts, press G and Y, and we'll move those up, and then S, X, and we'll scale them up a bit in the X axis. Then you wanna select this, 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 and this vert. Press Ctrl B and V to bevel, create some teeth. Go into face select, pressing three or the icon here, and press X and F. That's the mouth. Now press A, Shift A, and add another plane. Move it over, scale it down, go into vert select, move it a bit into place and we'll create an eye. So we'll move it there, we'll move that vert there. And then we'll move this vert somewhere here. And then we'll select these two verts and then press Ctrl B and V and scroll up. Then we can round them a tiny bit. And now we can select the whole eye now we can scale it and move it around a tiny bit just like this and then we'll press p and we'll separate by selection press tab to leave edit mode select the eye right click set origin origin to geometry and then we'll add in a modifier tab we'll add a mirror modifier and then our mirror object is going to be our mouth and then we can apply that modifier and then we'll select everything of this and we'll press Ctrl J to join them. And then we'll go tab into edit mode, press A to select all, and then E and extrude it up. 
Okay, leave edit mode, right click, set origin, origin to geometry, then press RX 90 to rotate it, and then press Shift A and we'll choose selection to cursor. We'll go back into front view, and now we can scale our face a tiny bit and move it a bit into position. There we go, that's a good size. And then we'll press G and Y, and we'll make sure it sticks out of the body of the pumpkin. Perfect. We'll uh, select our pumpkin body and we'll apply our subdivision modifier. And then while still in the modifier tab, we'll add a Boolean modifier and our object will be our face. And now we can select our face, press H to hide. And then we can see that it looks great. So then we can press Alt H or just the I icon here to unhide it. And we can basically just go and apply our boolean and then we can delete our face yes like that looks great so then we'll go into front view we'll select our body press tab to go into edit mode face select and we'll select our face like that and then we'll go select select more less and then we'll select more and then i see it goes a bit wrong here Just like that. Okay, perfect. Select, select more, more. And then press X and F. Perfect. And now we press A to select all. E and right click to confirm our extrude. And then press S and we'll scale it down to create some depth. There we go. And then tap to leave edit mode. And then press Shift D and confirm and then RZ180 to turn it around and then S and we'll scale it down. We will add our glow effect to this object and make sure it doesn't stick out anywhere. Perfect. That's basically our pumpkin done. Now we'll go into front view, press Shift A and we'll add a camera and then press G and Y and move it back and then we'll go into camera view by clicking view camera or it's zero on your numpad and we'll change our output settings to 1920 to 1920 and then G said move back a tiny bit there we go and we can select our pumpkin and we can press R twice and we'll rotate it a tiny bit there that looks great okay press shift A and then add a plane Press R, X, 90 to rotate it. G and Y and move it all the way back. Press tab to go into edit mode and then S to scale and scale it up big so it covers the background of your camera. Perfect like that. Then we'll go to our render settings. We'll change our engine to cycles, device to GPU compute. We'll change our viewport samples to 128 and we'll change our render samples to 512. Um, we can also go to color management and we'll change our look to medium high contrast. Okay, now we'll press Z, we'll go into rendered view and we'll start adding some lighting. So we'll press period and we'll change our pivot point to 3D cursor. Shift A, light, add an area light. And then press G and Z and move it up. Perfect. And then we'll change our shape to disk and I want to change the size to 2 and then we'll with the light selected press RX 30 minus to move it to the background and that's great and then we'll increase the power maybe to 100 okay that gives us a nice like lighting on top great then with the light selected press shift D R Z 120 and then press R and X twice and we'll make sure it shines a bit from the bottom. And then press G and Z twice and then we'll move it back a bit so it's a bit weaker. There. And then press Shift D, R, Z, 120. R, X, X, move it up a tiny bit. And then G, Z, Z, and we can move this one a tiny bit closer. Okay. And then we can always adjust this lighting later. Maybe make it a bit weaker. I think this could be maybe be 80. And this one as well. 
I also want to add a slight orangey color to these lights. There, we'll have it as FFE6C0. Now, add the same color to this lamp here. Now, into color, hex, there. Perfect. And then, we'll add a backlight uh, to our background. So, Shift A, add an area light. Press period, change it to median point. RX 90 GY, move it back, and then we'll change this shape to disk and our size to 3, and then maybe our power to like 300. And now let's uh, let's see how that looks. We can always decrease the power a bit, but I think this looks pretty decent for now. We'll uh, probably adjust some of this later, but this is a good uh, starting point. Now we'll start adding some materials. And we'll start with the body of the pumpkin. So let's select the body, go into a materials tab, add a new material. We'll change the base color to E77B32. And then we'll change our roughness to 0.4. And then we'll add our green color to the stem. So select it, add a new material, and we'll change our base color 278E747 and I will also change the roughness to 0.4 on this one and now for our glow effect we'll select the pumpkin body in the middle I'm gonna scale it up a tiny bit add a new material scroll down to emission and we'll make the emission color F77810 and then our emission strength is going to be 15 there that creates a nice glow effect then we'll select our background and we'll add a new material and that base color is going to be FFA382 and now we'll change our world colors so we'll go to our world tab go to color and it's going to be F9BDA3 perfect like that and now we can see, I think I'm going to rotate my pumpkin a tiny bit more. So with just the pumpkin selected, I'm going to press R twice. And as you can see, you can basically rotate it any way you want to make it look as evil as you want. I'm going to have it a tiny bit more. something like there yeah I like how that looks there we go and that's basically it thank you for joining me in this tutorial if you have any questions or requests feel free to drop them in the comment section below if you decide to share your artwork on Instagram don't forget to tag me I'd really love to see your result if you find this tutorial helpful consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video it really helps and remember, practice makes perfect, so go ahead and play around with the skills you've gained and make something of your own. Thank you for watching and good luck.